nana kirangi uh one of my student has uh, given a complaint that uh, what happens he is unable to do the deployment of his uh, <coughs> key flux field on the general ledger and i have been again and again telling everybody that what happens you should not make any mistakes top fine uh, it should be 100% accurate even 99.9% is pointless and even though it is less than by less by one point but it becomes pointless actually so software means what accuracy so you are not supposed to make any mistakes at all and that is very very important now what happens he is got struck because of a mistake made by one of them now we'll go there and then see what is the problem there <clears throat> I'll go there and then here i will now go there it is manage percentage char percentage is tru percentage fine manage chart of account structures you go there you go to this navigation now so in gl we have only one key flex field now if you give one search you are now find only one key flex field and this is accounting flex field and he tried to deploy it what happens it is not not deployed at all so we will now click on the deployment error message and click on it now it gives you lots of message will be <clears throat> error flux field metadata validation error actually fine go there and then what exactly it is now fine you must assign a required label for gl account to at least one segment now actually fine so what happens the balancing segment is not assigned actually maybe that will be the reason now fine go there and then who has done it so the p10 person has now done this now fine the mistake he has done now fine let us now go there and then query the p10 now fine go there okay so we will now go to the manage structures and then query the pattern so click on manage structures and then we'll now query the pattern and then I'll click on search now so we got the accounting structure fine select it and then click on edit now and go edit it now he has given only two things now fine one is a company and then one is a department now he has left it as such now and natural account is not there at all Right. So you must have at least three. Fine, all the three must be available. Now, fine. One is a company, one is a department, one is a natural account. If you don't have all three, what happens? It will not work at all. Well, first, let us go and then make a check of it. Now, click on the company, and then go there. Do not do any half work, basically. Now, it is a primary balancing segment, so he has done it. Fine, the value set has been given over here. Now, fine, go there. It is all done now. Fine, don't see that. What happens? The bath me carrying it. Fine, that don't have that habit. When you are into the area, what happens? You do everything. Sequence number is one is there. Now, do everything and then come out of it. Now. And company is not completed. We will now go to the department now. I click on the department and click on edit now. You know, this is the cost center. Is okay. My natural accounting segment is not there at all. So he left as such. And then uh, what happens when others are now trying to do it? What happens is not throwing in the right. The natural accounting segment is not there. So what I do is let me disable this now. Fine. So the Peter man, please. What happens? You correct the mistake by yourself now. And add one more segment of natural accounting. Then only what happens? You should leave the space basically. If you leave it half-hearted, and then what happens? The others will be not be able to compile it all. Fine. Let me disable it now. Fine. I will now save and close now. It's fine. It is not disabled. <clears throat> now what happens? When you do it, you do it. This is why what happens? I am not correcting it actually. Fine. You have to add one more segment on this now. Fine. Click on done now. So now let me go and then what happens? Let me go and then compile it now. Fine. Click on done now. Let us now go and then deploy it now. Fine. Go there. So click on deploy flux field now. Fine. Click on deploy flux field. So now the deployment is now happening now. We will not see whether any error is coming or not. Fine. So if anybody else has come, then what happens? That error also will be coming. Otherwise, it's not fine. So we'll wait for some time, and then afterwards observe it. Not fine. Error in deployment is not combined. Go there. So you can even see flux field metadata validation errors. Not fine. Go there. Click on it now. And go there. And then uh, apart from that, what happens? He's now saying what happens? Your ARR COA zero zero one is also going error. Not fine. ARR. Fine. Somebody in ARR also is making an error. Not fine. Go there. So these errors are not correct at all. <coughs> Fine. And then a zero one Excel ledger that is also having on what a warning message. Warning messages can be ignored, but errors we have to take care. Of. So say warning message only. Fine. Is a warning message now. Fine. <coughs> Is a warning warning. So if there is an error, what happens? We have to take up error. And let's be mad at error. So here we will now see what else is there and go there. So click on it now. And then this is the error actually. Fine. Again. Even though we have now disabled it, it is not still working actually. So what happens? It it needs that what happens? The third segment actually. And even though I disabled it, I thought that it will work, but it is not working. Now there's no fine. It is not working at all. Fine. Let me go and then correct it now. Fine. Go there. Let me correct it now. So do not leave things half and then come out of it now. Fine. You go to the manage structures and then let me correct it now. Fine. Go there. Repeat it. And then let me search for it now. <coughs> 
and then select it and then click on edit now. Let me add the next segment also and click on plus now. <coughs> so it's P10. It is natural accounting. Natural account is a segment fine. Go there. Take a copy of it, and then if you give a tap, the system will not prompt automatically AP and name now. So there is a unique identifier for this now. Fine, the system will be putting it automatically. And go there, and then click on the description, and then here the sequence number is three now. Fine. The prompt I'm pasting it over here now, and then the short prompt I'm pasting it. <coughs> P ten account. I don't say. <coughs> now make the display with this twenty characters. The column map will be segment three now. So make a sequential one so that what happens it will be fast for you. And then it will now add this now. Fine. Click on search on the value set now. And then query for the speed. <clears throat> Click on search. We're searching for it now. And then I will now add this one. Fine. Go there. So it's the account one. Fine. Select it and then I do it now. Fine. Go there. And then click on OK now. So it's not done. And then I will now make it as what? As a Natural account segment. Fine. Make it as a flux field qualifier. The flux field qualifier for this is natural accounting segment. Fine. Go there. So we had to have at least one natural accounting segment, one cost center, and then one uh, balancing segment. And click on save and close now. It's all done now. Fine. Let me enable it also. <clears throat> Not done. And click on save and close now. Now this time, let me go on the deploy. It now. We'll now see whether it's okay coming up okay or not. And go there. So let me go on the deploy it now. And click on the deploy flux field now. And click on deploy. <clears throat> so this time, what happens? It should not show any error at all. So if there is an error, what happens? It will be immediately popping, popping up now as it's now. Fine. If there is no error, what happens? It will not take its own time. It will not take approximately five minutes now. Then compared to Ebus, Ebus, what happens? It will be very fast. The deployment is basically freeze and compile in Ebus now. Whereas here, what happens? This is known as what happens? A deployment. And deployment is nothing but a Ebus. Uh, what happens? A freezing and compiling. So now, since it is taking a longer time, that itself is very clear that what happens? There is, the error has been what happens? Addressed actually. Right. So again and again, I'm telling you, whenever you're doing it, what happens? Do not leave anything half, and then go away. Right. When you're when you're on the job, what happens? You complete the job, and then afterwards, what happens? You go and then do it. Find right. the pay. What happens? It will be there. So software has to be 100% accurate. Even 99.9% .9 is pointless actually. Even though it's less by one point, but it's basically pointless actually. <clears throat> so don't leave it as a channel fine. So let me pause the recording for some time, and then afterwards we'll again come back now. Now we can see that the deployment has got completed successfully. So those of you who have done it, and then what happens? You can now see the deployment status will be coming as a tick mark. Click on OK. You can now see the tick mark is coming. So those of you who are completed setups, what happens? They are all deployed. No need to worry. If anybody makes a mistake now, what happens? Whatever has been deployed is deployed. So that will not be getting affected access. So no need to worry at all. And if you have already done the structures as well as the structure instance creation, if you have done everything, then in that case, what happens? This deployment would have done the deployment of your KFF also. There is no need to worry at all. Then one more thing uh, which I wanted to tell you is what uh, if you go and then see on this one, if you click on this and then what happens, you go to the uh, about, about this page and click on this uh, name and then click on the about this page. And then if you go there and then click on the copyright information, this will now tell you that we are on release 12 actually. Right? The application, the database version is 11 and that the application version is 12 actually. Whereas this is having a different deviation in uh, what happens in, uh, uh, in uh, release 13 actually. So let me go there and then have a look at the release 13 actually. <clears throat> go there. So once when you go into the release 13 login now, go there. So I will now go there. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, not this one actually. <clears throat> I'll go there. I'll go to this place. And then uh, here uh, I have a different navigation. Fine. Go there. <clears throat> so let me have a release 13 one. So here, if you go on that sign in now. So here it is having a different navigation for knowing the version of it now. If you click on this name, and then here what happens about this application? If you click on it, what happens? It will not show you on the screen itself. It is now version 13, and then the latest update is 18.2 actually. Fine. Now people are working on 17.4. Now what happens? This version is now 18.2. It is it will be updated soon on all the release 13 instances actually. It is having almost all the latest ones now. So. Uh, CD that you're working on 18.2, fine. Those are what happens. You'll be able to get what happens. Yeah, proper one. <clears throat> fine. That will be having all the features actually. The latest features will be available. Here now. 
So good then, fine. And then if you have any doubts, uh, what you can do is you can write to me at nana.app60, nana.app60 at gmail.com and I'll not respond back to you. No. So I'm now conducting a training on fusion inventory and fusion shipping. Fine, do join. Uh, the present training program is already going on and then I have another program starting on 30th in the evening batch. Fine. Have a look at my channel, Ananta Nana. And then here at the bottom, what happens? You go and then subscribe it and then uh, click on the bell icon and then if you click on it, what happens? It will become chime. And then uh, what happens? You'll now get a notification upon uh, any new post which I'm putting it on. So, bye for now and then we'll all meet on the next page.